Hey guys and welcome back to another video. We partner up with Custom Controllers again and this time we're gonna paint some PS5 controllers for Los Angeles at these. So let's go ahead and get started. So with any controller project, I'm gonna go ahead and sand it and clean it first and uh, organize all my pieces. I figure out the size of the touchpad, uh, this way I know exactly how big to make my stencils. Always use alcohol to clean your items and also don't forget to use gloves so you don't put oil on the product. There's electronics in the bag so I just went ahead and taped those up so they wouldn't get damaged. The star of the project is always the base code and this Autoborn sealer works really really good. I highly recommend it. You can use regular aerosol primer but I tend to find out that that's a little bit too thick for this particular project. I went ahead and sprayed all the items since I already had the paint uh, or the primer in the airbrush and I'm also working on other designs besides this particular one so you'll probably see a couple of other different controllers in this video. You can see the difference before and after applying the Autoborn sealer. Don't forget to hit the edges, this way the paint doesn't peel from those areas when you're putting the controller back together. The way I prepare the Autoborn sealer, I do about 75% um, Autoborn and then 25% of water and I mix it together. Uh, kind of tends to look like milk and you want that consistency so it sprays nice. After the sealer I'm going to go ahead and apply the color. We're going to do small thin layers of color and making sure we dry in between. This way the paint really sticks on that plastic. Guys and we can paint just about anything. So jackets, hats, uh, you know you name it we can probably customize it, brand it, paint it. So if you have a special project, just let me know. And if you guys are looking for a custom controller, go ahead and hit up customcontrollers.com and he'll be able to help you out with that. So uh, let's go ahead and finish this controller. Throughout the painting process, the paint dries on the tip of that airbrush. So you want to spray uh, either a Windex or I use this uh, thing called Awesome that you get at uh, the Dollar Tree and I kind of dilute that with water and spray that. It clears the airbrush really nice and uh, follow that up with the regular water and you should be good uh, for the next color. Now I'm doing several layers and I just want that to be super black. So I'm gonna take my time with small thin layers and drawing in between making sure that black is super, super black. So when I put the clear coat, uh, it shows um, you know very, very nice. So the LA Thieves, they're a professional uh, Call of Duty uh, league and they're professional gamers, so make sure you check them out. The design is very simple and straightforward, but you still need to take your time making sure the paint sticks on the plastic. So just make sure you keep going layer after layer and drawing in between. So besides painting, I do graphic design and I've been doing this for over 30 years. So I have a lot of experience in design, painting, and uh, pretty much anything that has to do with branding. I can customize just about anything. So the base coat is dry and the red is going to be the letters and I want the background to be black. So I'm applying the stencil so it protects the red and then I'm going to go ahead and spray everything black. And then for the other controller, it's going to be the opposite. So we're going to start off with black and we're going to spray white. So you, see, you can see here that I'm now uh, unveiling the black underneath the stencil. You want to remove your stencil as soon as you can. This way the paint doesn't completely dry on you. Otherwise, when you start peeling that stencil off, the, uh, the paint might come with it. So it's happened before and um, just watch out for that. So try to do it as soon as you can. Having a plotter or a Cricut uh, really helps with uh, stencils, but if you don't have one, you can always use 
uh, masking tape and uh, pretty much just taping your item down taking for example a printout of the logo gluing that on top of the uh, tape and then using a blade just following the lines cut and, uh, and and you can do your stencil that way it takes a little bit longer time because you're doing it by hand but it also works when I was younger one of my first jobs uh, was a, a little kiosk at the mall uh, doing vinyl decals for people so we had a little stand and people would come over and you know pretty much pick out a decal and I would uh, you know put it in the computer print it out cut it weave it and you know put transfer tape on there and sell it to them so that was my first job which is kind of fun and there you go guys the last thing was to paint Los Angeles on the top and gloss the whole thing so I think it came out really really nice what do you guys think all right that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoy this video let me know what you guys think about the controllers in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video take it easy for now If you're interested in branded merchandise for your company, we do sell in bulk, or if you're looking for a single item, we sell hand-painted gifts. So uh, send me a message, and don't forget to check out my Instagram and TikTok at Designer Ernie, and uh, don't forget to check out my two stores at Etsy, The Print Shop Corner, and The Wedding Monkey. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.